What's up everyone, welcome to FilmSpot, and today we will be talking about best upcoming movies. Get ready to unleash the symbiote once more, because Venom is back for his final dance. Sony Pictures has unveiled the title for the third installment of the thrilling Venom saga, Venom The Last Dance. And that's not all, they've also decided to move up the release date, so set your reminders for October 25th, 2024 instead of November 8th. While the plot remains shrouded in mystery, one thing's for sure, Tom Hardy will reprise his role as the lethal protector, Eddie Brock slash Venom. Joining him are Juno Temple, Chiwetel Ejiofor, and Clark Bako, promising another electrifying adventure. But what sets this installment apart is the directorial debut of Kelly Marcel, who also crafted the screenplay alongside Hardy. First teased at CinemaCon in April 2022, Venom The Last Dance marks Venom's return to the big screen since his cameo in Spider-Man No Way Home. Despite production setbacks due to the sag after strike, the cameras are rolling once again, bringing us closer to the edge of our seats. And according to Juno Temple, who's been in the thick of the action, filming is nearing completion. With such a stellar cast and crew, including Temple's excitement, it's safe to say that Venom The Last Dance is poised to be an exhilarating finale to the saga. Be prepared to scream, horror fans, because Sidney Prescott is back in action. Nev Campbell, the original Scream Queen herself, took to Instagram to drop a bombshell. She's reprising her iconic role in Scream 7. And that's not all, Kevin Williamson, the mastermind behind the original Scream and its sequels, is stepping into the director's chair for this spine-chilling installment. In her Instagram post, Campbell wrote, While I've been so incredibly lucky to make these films with both the master of horror, Wes Craven, and the wonderfully talented Matt and Tyler team, I've dreamt for many years of how amazing it would be to make one of these movies with Kevin Williamson at the helm, Campbell said in her Instagram post, and now it's happening. Kevin Williamson is going to direct Scream 7. Fans were left on the edge of their seats after Campbell's absence in Scream 6, citing a salary dispute. But fear not, for the Scream Queen has returned, ready to face off against the masked killer once more. And while there's no official release date yet, with the script taking shape, it's possible we'll be treated to Scream 7 just in time for the franchise's 30th anniversary in late 2025 or even 2026. Fasten your belts to ride back into the Mushroom Kingdom, because Mario and the gang are gearing up for another adventure. After the phenomenal success of the first Super Mario Bros. movie, fans have been eagerly awaiting news about a sequel, and now it's official. The Super Mario Bros. movie 2 is in the works. Nintendo and Illumination, the powerhouses behind the first film, have announced that Mario will be hitting the big screen again. But this isn't just your typical sequel, Shigeru Miyamoto himself teased that the new project will broaden Mario's world, hinting at exciting new directions for our beloved plumber. While details about the plot are as elusive as a superstar, one thing's for sure, the Super Mario Bros. movie 2 is set to drop on April 3, 2026. Will it pick up where the first film left off, or will it explore new corners of the Mushroom Kingdom? The suspense is killing us! So dust off your red caps and fire up your warp pipes, because the Super Mario Bros. Movie 2 is shaping up to be another blockbuster hit, packed with enough nostalgia and excitement to make even Bowser quake in his shell. Hold on to your capes, folks! The bat signal is flashing with exciting news! Get ready to mark your calendars, because The Batman Part 2 is swooping into theaters on a new date, October 2nd, 2026. Yep, you heard it right, Gotham City's Dark Knight is taking a detour, pushing back its release by a whole year. This sequel, following Matt Reeves' gripping tale, was first teased at CinemaCon in April 2022, with Mattson Tomlin joining the creative crew in August of the same year, and DC bigwigs James Gunn and Peter Safran setting the date for October 3, 2025, fans were primed for action. However, it seems like the Batmobile hit a speed bump, with insiders hinting at strike-related delays. But fear not, Bat fans, this delay isn't without its silver lining. It's giving space for DC's Superman to soar into cinemas on July 11th, 2025, courtesy of filmmaker James Gunn. And hey, here's a fun fact, The Batman Part 2 will continue its crusade outside the typical DC continuity, keeping us on our toes with its standalone adventures. So grab your popcorn, sharpen your batarangs, and get ready for another thrilling ride in the world of the Dark Knight. 
Shang-Chi is gearing up for an epic sequel. According to insider extraordinaire Daniel Rickman, Shang-Chi 2 is set to kick off filming in 2025, with Destin Daniel Cretton returning to helm the project both as writer and director. While details are still scarce, Rickman dropped some tantalizing hints about what's in store for fans. Brace yourselves for a journey through time, as Shang-Chi 2 is rumored to feature time travel alongside the enigmatic presence of Iron Fist. But hold on to your chi, because this won't be the Iron Fist we're familiar with from the Netflix series. Instead, Rickman suggests that the Iron Fist appearing in the sequel will be tied to the upcoming Eyes of Wakanda animated series. Marvel Studios has been tight-lipped about the development of Shang-Chi 2, with Rickman's report offering the first concrete details since the rumored leak of the sequel's title, Shang-Chi and the Wreckage of Time. While the title has yet to be officially confirmed by Marvel, it certainly aligns with Rickman's claim of time-traveling adventures. As for the release date, Marvel Studios has a busy schedule ahead, with only three unnamed movie projects slated for 2026. Shang-Chi 2's arrival remains a mystery for now, but with the multiverse saga in full swing, anticipation for this action-packed sequel is at an all-time high. Get your VR headsets ready, because the virtual adventure is about to level up! Steven Spielberg, the maestro behind the 2018 hit Ready Player One, is back in the game, confirming his role as a producer for the much-anticipated sequel Ready Player Two. Based on Ernest Cline's novel of the same name, this sci-fi extravaganza transports audiences to a dystopian future where the virtual oasis of the Oasis offers an escape from reality, brimming with pop culture easter eggs. Spielberg spilled the beans on his involvement during a glitzy post-Oscars soiree at the Universal Pictures Gala, revealing that while he's currently in the discovery phase for his upcoming projects, he's definitely diving back into the digital realm for Ready Player Two. The original film, racking up over $607 million worldwide, left fans hungry for more, especially with Klein dropping the sequel novel in 2020. But hold on to your avatars, folks! While Spielberg's on board and Klein's sequel have stirred up excitement, Warner Brothers hasn't hit the play button on the sequel officially. So for now, dive back into the virtual playground of Ready Player One, currently streaming on Netflix, and keep those fingers crossed for another epic journey into the Oasis. Marvel enthusiasts are on the edge of their seats, eagerly anticipating the colossal collision of Deadpool and Wolverine hitting screen soon. With the countdown ticking away, excitement has skyrocketed to unprecedented levels. Among the whirlwind of fan theories and whispers, one name reigns supreme. Henry Cavill, fresh from his cape-clad departure from the DC Universe as Superman, is rumored to leap into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Initially, Buzz pointed toward Cavill donning the Union Jack as Captain Britain. However, recent rumblings suggest a different fate awaits him. According to a scoop from Giant Freakin' Robot, Cavill is poised to unsheath the iconic adamantium claws of Wolverine, a role immortalized for nearly two decades by Hugh Jackman. But hold on to your chimichangas, folks! This isn't just any Wolverine. Cavill's rendition hails from a divergent dimension, courtesy of Marvel's Multiverse Mayhem. A trusted source spilled the beans, revealing Henry Cavill will slice his way into Deadpool and Wolverine as a multiverse variant of the clawed hero, decked out in his signature long brown coat. It's Cavill's grand Marvel debut, though many hoped he'd don the Union Jack as Captain Britain. But fear not, true believers! The MCU's multiverse magic means Cavill's cameo doesn't shut the door on other Marvel roles, leaving endless possibilities for his future in this superhero sandbox. Recent reports suggest that Marvel Studios may be shifting gears, opting for safer bets over riskier ventures, potentially impacting sequels to beloved franchises like Eternals, Captain Marvel, and Ant-Man. Insider Daniel Rickman via CBR hints that Marvel is leaning towards established IPs with proven box office success rather than delving into lesser-known characters and properties. Take Eternals 2, for example. Initially anticipated to resolve the 2021 film's cliffhanger, rumors swirl that Disney CEO Bob Iger foresees a flop. 
Yet Marvel head honcho Kevin Feige remains keen on its continuation, possibly explaining why it's on pause rather than scrapped outright. Similarly, Ant-Man and Captain Marvel sequels hang in the balance following underwhelming box office performances, while Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania fell short of breaking even despite a respectable $476.1 million global haul, the Marvels floundered with a mere $206 million against a hefty $275 million budget, marking it as the MCU's lowest grossing outing thus far. While Eternals didn't tank as dramatically, lukewarm reviews hint at Phase 4's rocky start. Marvel's recalibration toward bankable IPs suggests a cautious approach amidst an evolving cinematic landscape. Whether these iconic heroes will return to the spotlight remains to be seen, but one thing's for sure, the Marvel Universe is navigating uncharted territory, ready to adapt and innovate in the face of uncertainty. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.